I'm Marty Newland. I'm a DPT student at Elon University. I'm here today to talk to you about an article I reviewed. The title of the article was The Effect of Dexamethasone Ion Tophoresis on Decreasing Pain and Improving Function in Patients with mus Musculoskeletal Conditions. This was a Level 1A research article. It was a systematic review of several random controlled trial tests. The target population was ranged from 45 to 50 years of age with musculoskeletal conditions ranging from medial to lateral epicondylitis and epicondylitis in the extremity, in the right arm. The type of electrotherapy that we, was used in the article was iontophoresis. The specific parameters used in all three trials was 2.5 milliliters of 0.4% of dexamethasone sodium phosphate injected into an iontophoretic electrode administered at the dosage of 40 milliamps per minute using a battery operated iontophoresis. The protocol we used was to prepare the skin by rubbing alcohol, placing the electrode over the lateral epicondylitis, uh, epicondyle. There were six treatments within 15 days spread over two to three days apart. The intensity varied within all three trials according to the patient's tolerance. The outcomes that were found were that this was very effective treatment for a inflammatory natured problem. The outcomes for using the dexamethasone treatment alone were not as promising as using it with exercise. So the, there was an improvement in the visual analog pain scale. And there was also other um, decreases in the symptom, symptoms that these patients were um, expressing. There was a decrease in the pain thresholds that was measured by the grip strength test. And I would recommend this protocol on subjects that were, or patients that were complaining of the same similar symptoms when it had inflammatory nature. So that would be the acute stage of um, injury. So the first thing I would do would be to clean the, the area. The thing that I thought was very interesting in this article was that they reminded us as we age, the integrity of the skin changed, just with typical um, aging. And so using this medication, it's um, a hydrophilic compound. It can be um, decrease the permeability as we age. So you want to take in consideration of that as um, with an aging patient. So we use the dexamethasone. and they administer it right to the pad. And the pad was administered right over the claim area. <laughs> and as am I applying this the second pad, if you want to glance at our parameters today. This article reminded us that this medication was a negative um, isotope, and so therefore we would use the black or elect, uh, negative electrode to repel the medication into the surface. The article told us that dexamethasone was able to penetrate to deeper surfaces and structures such as your tendons and your cartilage. That's the reason that they used, uh, decided to use this medication for this type of injury. I'm just using one channel, so we're going to turn the channel on.
it is set to the 40 milli milliamps per second or per minute dosage. If not, I would change it with my settings. Once that is set, I close the box. They turned it on to ramp to the intensity the patient could tolerate. And how does that feel? Good. And so then that was set, and the patient would wait. Again, I would use this type of um, electrical therapy in my clinic. Thank you.